the money section where we talk about stocks. We talk about the moves we've done today. We talk about what you can be looking forward to to investing in on Robinhood's app. And if you're finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. He's got one. I've got one. Check out my Robinhood app. You get a free stock. I get a free stock. Today, before we get into what choices we made, I want you guys to see this video about Nikola Motors. They're doing what Tesla has done. So for their, their specialty is going to be in the truck space. They are going gangbusters. And all I got to say is, y'all, pump the brakes. But I'll break it down after we check out this video. <laughs> All right, so if you guys have Nikola Motors calls or the stock on Friday and today's Monday, you just made a good amount of money because Nikola Motors is going to the absolute moon. It's up 8% right now, even though it did drop to plus 3.84%. The news and the catalyst that came out was just too big, and eventually it went back up again. So almost 150,000 people own Nikola Motors on Robinhood, and that number is growing daily. Nikola Motors, the stock isn't super cheap either. So paying $60 to $70 to get this stock and there's almost 150,000 people owning this on Robinhood is pretty insane. Now the market cap is pretty much the same as Ford Motors, which is a little high in my opinion, but there's some pretty big catalysts coming out that's giving Nikola Motors the big boost that it really needs, especially how the rest of the tech sector today is pretty flat, being dragged down by Facebook. So if you check out Nikola Badger, the reservations are up. There's a 250 reservation, there's a $1,000 reservation, and there's a 5,000 reservation with limited availability. Now, keep in mind that if you actually are setting out to get this truck, it's best to make a Nikola Motors account, sign up, and just pick the $250 package. And the reason why is the car isn't really truly out. Nikola Motors doesn't really have a factory going on. And keep in mind that this is fully non-refundable after november 1st so if you guys want to cancel your order and reservation for the badger it has to be before november 1st now the thing that really worries me is hopefully we will be getting some sort of a factory news before november because that will actually make me feel a little bit better but if you're getting really near to november and there's little to no word about the production phase or the factory it's best to pull out but that's just me now, there's three different types of reservations. The 250 is the most basic one that gives you the rights to reserve the Badger, and you also get a chance to win one of these cars, and you get a ticket to go to the Nikola World 2020, which they will be unveiling different vehicles, and hopefully we'll get more information at that time. And now, the $1,000 deposit, it's kind of unnecessary since if you get this, you're honestly just betting that you get a higher chance to win a free car and you get two tickets. So I guess you could bring your girlfriend or your boyfriend, whatever. And you got the $5,000 deposit, which is kind of like the special founder edition that's signed by like the people that made the car, which is very similar to the Tesla Roadster, which there is a founder edition. If you're super rich, I guess you could put down a $5,000 deposit for this. There's also some discounts when you actually purchase the vehicle. So that is going towards the vehicle and you get a lot more entries to win a free car and two VIP backstage meet and greets. And that's pretty cool. I mean, if you get to meet and greet the founders and CEO of Nikola Motors, that's pretty chill. But of course, if you look at that Badger, the reason why I feel like the car itself is getting so much hype and reservations are filling up is because it's been a really long time since we've seen like a fully electric truck that actually looks like a truck i'm not dissing elon musk's cyber truck i kind of like the look it looks like it came from mars or like a spaceship but it's not really for everyone because it looks too wacky all right ladies and gentlemen that's nikola motors and i can tell you right now with everything in my loins in my fibers do not buy that stock right now it just doesn't make sense ladies and gentlemen yeah they are two years away from producing their first car they don't even have a factory to build this this runs in line with a scheme you guys might have heard of before called pump and dump yeah literally if these guys was to run away with the money right now there you don't they wouldn't get in any trouble they wouldn't get in any trouble they could file bankruptcy run away with all the money they have four employees currently those four employees don't take salary they only take money from stocks and dividends that's how they can get paid right now this company hasn't produced anything if you want to be trying to take a gamble on the next hot thing 
at the very least, wait until you see some sales numbers from this company. Or if you really want to be a gambler, wait till you know they're going to have an event, buy the week before the event, and then when everybody's jumping on the bandwagon, sell what you earn the very next week. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a sound buy at this moment. It's too risky. I can think of a handful of other great stocks you can spend sixty dollars on, and I will discuss them after Larry gives his perspective. Yeah, I don't. I, I personally, when I first of all, I don't like to buy stocks in companies that don't produce something. Exactly. You know, I like companies that actually produce something. I don't want to. I don't like to buy stocks and just holding companies that don't do anything but acquire other holding companies and all the other financial shenanigans that go out there. I don't mm -hmm. like buying companies that haven't yet made anything. I get it. Companies need, you know, they need capital so that they can actually produce their product. But, you know, I mean, when you're, to me, that's where you have the whole VC market and you get these private investors that come out and they work with people to get the product out. But when you go public and you don't even have a product yet, I'm just, that's just not for me. It's not right, for me. I right. think part of it is too, is that I think that, and nothing, nothing bad, nothing against the Robin Hood investors. I know you guys are out there. I honestly think some of this has to do with that whole Robin Hood investor community and all in, in retails, you know, investors in general. I think they're building up some of these stocks. That should not be up there. They're pumping them up when they shouldn't be up there. They're 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 investing in things that they don't fully understand, and they're doing it because it's trending on on their app or it's trending on on some website or something. And they say, "Ooh, I'm going to get in on this," and they push the they push the stock price up. Mm -hmm. and it's going to eventually crash. It's, you're going to have mm -hmm. people putting in this thing sixty six dollars a share. You're going to have people getting in, buying fifty hundred shares or more. And they're going to end up one day. They're going to turn around. This stock's going to crash. It's going to be worth a dollar fifty, and then people are going to be stuck holding the bag. You know, you got that right. So let let me give some advice to people who are interested in innovative companies that are producing electric vehicles or associated with it that I own that cost nowhere near this money. That you can go take a look at. They've got sales numbers to represent what they're doing. First one is a company called Neo. That's the ticker sign N I O. They are being called the Tesla of China, and they have done great sales since the coronavirus thing because China is back wide open right now. And Neo has comparable technology, comparable range on their cars, and it's only a matter of time before it hits America. And they are a little cheaper than Tesla, and they're doing great. Take a look at them. There's a company right here in America if you want to invest in America called Workhorse. What do they do? They have a government contract with the United States to produce electric SUVs. They've already got a contract in place where they're producing drones. And they're also producing for the government electric um, water vessels, submarines and boats. That's another good one you can take a look at. And then Blink, ticker symbol B-L-N-K, they are the housing body that produces all of your charging stations for Tesla. They're getting ready to have a contract to produce the West Coast Corridor for electric semi-automatic trucks. They produce charging stations for um, Chevy Volts and other electric cars. All those are companies for those of you that want to take a calculated safe risk. Stocks are under $10. Grab you some of those and check out what their history has been. That's what I always do before I even think about buying a stock. I check out the history. I go check out the financials. I see what their debt ratios are. I see what their last quarter volume numbers were and then get them. And those are three that I have vetted. 